Hello everyone. In this video, we will do MCQs in IELTS listening. In this exercise, first you will listen to a tape and options and in the end, we will see the transcript and explain the answers. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. Hi everyone, welcome to the Snow Center. My name's Annie. I hope you enjoyed the bus trip from the airport. We've certainly got plenty of snow today. Well, you've come to New Zealand's premier snow and ski center, and we've a whole load of activities for you during your week here. Most visitors come here for the cross-country skiing, where you're on fairly flat ground for most of the time, rather than going down steep mountainsides. There are marked trails, but you can also leave these and go off on your own, and that's an experience not to be missed. You can go at your own speed. It's great aerobic exercise if you really push yourself. Or, if you prefer, you can just glide gently along and enjoy the beautiful scenery. This afternoon, you'll be going on a dog sled trip. You may have seen our dogs on TV recently racing in the Winter Sled Festival. If you want, you can have your own team for the afternoon and learn how to drive them, following behind our leader on the trail. Or if you prefer, you can just sit back in the sled and enjoy the ride as a passenger. At the weekend, we have the team relay event and you're all welcome to join in. We have a local school coming along and a lot of the teachers are taking part too. Participation rather than winning is the main focus and there's a medal for everyone who takes part. Participants are in teams of two to four and each team must complete four laps of the course. For your final expedition, you'll head off to Mount Frenna wearing a pair of special snowshoes which allow you to walk on top of the snow. This is an area where miners once searched for gold, though there are very few traces of their work left now. When the snow melts in summer, the mountain slopes are carpeted in flowers and plants. It's a long ascent, though not too steep, and walkers generally take a couple of days to get to the summit and return. You'll spend the night in our hut halfway up the mountain. That's included in your package for the stay. It's got cooking facilities, firewood and water for drinking. For washing, we recommend you use melted snow, though, to conserve supplies. We can take your luggage up on our snowmobile for you for just $10 a person. The hut has cooking facilities, so you can make a hot meal in the evening and morning, but you need to take your own food. The weather on Mount Frenna can be very stormy. In that case, stay in the hut. Generally, the storms don't last long. Don't stress about getting back here to the centre in time to catch the airport bus. They'll probably not be running anyway. We do have an emergency locator beacon in the hut, but only use that if it's a real emergency, like if someone's ill or injured. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now we will see all the questions and answers in detail. Annie recommends that when cross-country skiing, the visitors should a. Get away from the regular trails. B. Stop to enjoy views of the scenery. C. Go at a slow speed at the beginning. Now, if you go to the script, you will see in the first section, they have mentioned that, Hi everyone, welcome to the snow center. And Annie is introducing herself. Then she is mentioning most visitors come here for cross-country skiing when you are on fairly flat ground for most of the time rather than going down steep mountain sides. There are marked trails but you can also leave these and go off on your own. And that's an experience not to be missed. That means she is saying you can leave the marked trails and go off on your own. 
you can go at your own speed so the answer to the 11th question will be get away from regular trails now move to the next question 12th what does any tell the group about this afternoon's dog sled trip a those who want to can take part in the race anyone has the chance to drive a team of dogs one group member will be chosen to lead the trail good go back to the script read next this afternoon you will be going on a dog sled trip you may have seen our dogs on tv recently racing in the winter sled festival if you want you can have your own team for the afternoon and learn how to drive them following behind our leader on the trail so the answer to the 12th will be those who want to can take part no anyone has the chance to drive a team of dog yes one group member will chosen to lead no so the answer will be b now go to 13th question what does any say about the team relay event all participants receive a medal the course is 4 km long each team is led by a teacher go to the script at the weekend we have the team relay event and you all are welcome to join in we have a local school coming along and lot of teachers are taking part too participation rather than winning is the main focus and there is a medal for everyone who takes part that means there is a medal for everyone participants are in teams of 2 to 4 and each team must complete 4 laps of the course so the answer to 13th will be all participants receive a medal now move to the next question 14th on the snow shoe trip the visitors will visit an old gold mine learn about unusual flowers climb to the top of a mountain go to the script for your final expedition you will head off to mount frener wearing a pair of special snow shoes which allow you to walk on top of the snow there is an area where miners once search for gold that means they are describing that you will reach top of the snow and there is an area where miners once search for gold though there are very few traces of their work left now so you can here exclude visit an old gold mine exclude it then move when the snow melts in summer the mountain slopes are carpeted in flowers and plants that means when it melts when snow melts so learn about unusual flower they are not talking about this you will exclude both but you have not got the answer yet it is a long ascent though not too steep and walkers generally take a couple of days to get to the summit and return so you will climb to the top of a mountain c will be the answer now go to 15th the cost of accommodation in the mountain hut includes a supply of drinking water transport of visitors luggage cooked meal now go to the script we are talking about you will spend the night in our hut half bay up the mountain that's included in your package for the stay it has got cooking facilities firewood and water for drinking so the option will be supply of drinking water why not cooked meal and transport of visitors luggage because they have mentioned it has got cooking facility not cooked meal so the answer will be supply of drinking water 
and they are not talking about visitors luggage transport now go to 16th question if there is a storm while the visitors are in the hut they should contact the bus driver wait until the weather improves use the emergency locator so we will go to the script the weather on mount frener can be very stormy in that case stay in the hut generally the storms don't last long that means storm will be over soon and you should stay in the hut so the answer can be b wait until the weather improves contact the bus driver and use the emergency locator so are they talking about that don't stress about getting back here to the center in time to catch airport bus they will probably not be running up anyway we do have a emergency locator back in the hut but only use that if it's real emergency like someone is ill or injured not in case of storm so the answer to 16th will be b generally they talk about all the option but there is a stress on one option and the answer to the question is only one don't get confused in multiple choice questions thank you everyone